friends welcome to our channel mechanical motivator in this video we are going to see a basic problem on section of cone initially i will be explaining how to what they have given in the question and then i will be explaining how to write from the given data i mean how to write the given data from the question and then i will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step it's very easy if you follow all the instruction whatever i say you can complete the diagram so let us go into the question what they gave us a cone so solid which we are going to solve will be a cone so base diagram will be a circle a cone of base 50 mm diameter so cone diameter is 50 so radius is 2.25 mm and axis is 60 mm long so height of the cone is 60 mm rest with its base on hp so resting will be on hp it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp and parallel to one of the extreme generators so on line this board extreme generator and 10 mm away from it so what they are asking is the cutting plane is uh, 10 mm away from the 10 mm away from the extreme generator right so it's also parallel to the extreme generator so we have to keep two things in your mind cutting plane is parallel to the extreme generators and uh, 10 mm away from it so they are asking us to draw the sectional uh, top view true shape of the section plan and elevation Front view, top view. So these are things which they are asking to do. Initially, we need to draw the reference line, and we will be drawing the base diagram. So since they clearly mentioned the cone is resting on HP, so we will be drawing the base circle on HP. Okay. So divide the circle at eight equal parts. First of all, first step you have to draw the reference line. The first step is you need to draw the reference line. The reference line and name it as x, y, v, p, h, p. The next step is as you know very well, the cone is resting on h, p. You are going to draw the base diagram, that is the circle on h, p. Diameter is given as 50 mm, so take 25 mm in your compass. Okay, take your compass, measure 25 mm in your scale, and keep your center of the compass here and draw the circle. And you have to name since we are having cone means we will be having only eight namings. If we are having cylinder means we will be having 16 namings. So topmost portion will be alpha, but A, B, C, D, and uh, I mean, sorry, bottommost portion is A, B, C, D, and topmost is an apex. Okay. So write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So write uh, this is the way you need to name it up. And uh, dimensioning, you have to dimension the diameter of the circle. So next, uh, what we will do is we use the top view. So whatever we draw here, okay, whatever we draw here, this is the top view. Using this top view, we are going to draw the front view of the cone. The next step is we are going to draw the front view. So we know very well when we project all the top view points, we can get the front view. See, you have to keep your scale here vertically so that you can get a point a dash point. You have to keep your scale vertically with h so that you can get a point in reference line. You have to keep your scale vertical with g so you get this point. You have to keep the scale vertical with respect to f so you get this point. You have to keep uh, scale vertical with respect to e. So you get this point. So when you see from here, you can see a right. So a dash. You can see b, but you can't see h. So b dash bracket h dash. You can see c, but you can't see g. So c dash bracket g dash. You can see d, but you can't see f. So d dash bracket f dash. You can see e. So e dash. So height of the that is axis length is sixty mm. See uh, from this point, this is the axis right. From here for sixty mm, draw a line. So you got all the points right from here. Or uh, keep your scale vertical for a length of 60 mm. You just keep your point and name it as O dash. Then just join all the points so that you will be getting the front view of the cone. Now we will explain how to draw the cutting plane. So since uh, I don't have much space, I have just uh, wrote all the numericals near and near. So I will explain slowly. You just listen to me. What they are asking is they are asking us to draw a cutting plane parallel to the extreme generator. What is extreme generator? O dash E dash is the extreme generator. O dash A dash is the extreme generator. We are having both generators, but uh, any one of the generator they have said, so it's our own wish. Next thing is the cutting plane should be parallel to any one of the extreme generator and 10 mm away from it. See, from this point you just take 10 mm, one centimeter. From this O dash, take 10 mm and keep a point. Now you have to draw a cutting plane in such a way that it, this line should be parallel to O dash E dash. Listen to me. From O dash, take 10 mm, keep a point. Then you have to go. You are going to draw this line, a local line. This is the cutting plane. This cutting plane should be parallel to O dash E dash. Then here, since we are named, we don't have space. Actually, after that, you have to leave one mm gap and uh, extend the cutting plane. But since we wrote the uh, half of it, I didn't uh, extend it that much. And above also, you can extend, leaving one mm gap. 
So this is the way for putting the cutting plane. And dimensioning is they have said that uh, they, it's ten mm away from it, right? So you try to extend this line. This is called extension line. This uh, this is the cutting plane line. This is the extension line. Extend it to some extent and uh, dimension it as ten mm. So it means that it will be. Uh, it will be uh, taking a uh, equal spacing of 10 mm throughout so the uh, distance be between these two lines will be 10 mm that's what it mean okay next thing is coming to cutting points okay see here here we will get only one cutting point reason is o dash a dash one cutting point so one dash next thing is o dash b dash so at this point only two dash we have to write I, I just wrote below here this is two dash and here three dash here four dash and hidden one 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash so see how, how I am writing 1 dash is for O dash A dash 2 dash is for O dash B dash 3 dash is for O dash C dash 4 dash is for O dash D dash 5 dash is for O dash F dash 6 dash is for O dash G dash and 7 dash is for O dash H dash so this is, way, this is the way we need to write so since I don't have space here, I just wrote below so that here I could not write the 3 dash and 6 dash. So okay. these two will be somewhat clumsy. Okay, clumsy. So here we'll have see, see here we will be having two cutting points and here we will be having two cutting points. So try to write legibly. Since I could not have space, I just wrote it near and nearer. So it will be, I think so it, it won't be that much visible. Kindly uh, cooperate and uh, Try to understand and mark as uh, as we saw in previous video. Whatever we learn, you just make use all those concepts and just mark the cutting points. The next step will be we will be extending all the cutting points vertically, and then we will be getting the sectional top view. Now just see, we are going to extend all the cutting points downwards and get the sectional top view. So when you extend one dash, one dash is between O dash and A dash. Extend one dash in such a way that it should lie between O. So this point is called O mark. This point is called O. Okay, this point is called O. So one dash is between O dash and A dash. So between O A just keep one one. Uh, two dash is between O dash and B dash. Extend this point vertically in such a way that it has to cut O B. So extend this point vertically, it has to cut O B. So mark two. Seven dash is between O dash and H dash. Extend this cutting point vertically, it has to cut O H seven. 3 and 6 is lying on the same axis so we can't get it. I will tell another procedure for it. Just give 3 dash and 6 dash. Coming back to 4 dash, 5 dash. Extend, uh, extend this cutting point. 4 dash is between O dash and D dash. Extend this uh, cutting point vertically. You will be, sorry. 4 dash is between C dash and D dash. Extend this cutting point vertically. It will be getting between C and D. You will be getting 4. And 5 dash is between G and F. So extend this cutting point vertically. You will be getting 5. So as of now we got all the 5 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 5 points, now 3 dash and 6 dash, since uh, 3 dash and 6 dash are lying on the same axis, what we are going to do is, just see here, I am just going to draw a, a horizontal line till the exchange generator and we will try to br bring it vertically to, to the center, so center and then I will measure this distance and try to cut an arc above and below, so that I can get the cutting points of 3 dash and 6 dash on the axis. Listen here, from 3 dash, from this cutting point, draw a horizontal line shows that from this cutting point, draw a horizontal line so that it has to touch the exchange generator, this point. Try to extend this line vertically downwards till O and A. You will be getting somewhat here. Use your 2H pencil, it should be very very light. Measure this point and this point with your compass. Measure, take your compass, measure this point and this point. Try to cut an arc above and try to cut an arc below on o, try to cut an arc on OG and OC so that you will be getting two cutting points right so 6 dash is lying between O dash and G dash so here is 6 and 3 dash is lying between O and C so 3 you will be getting now just join all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so that you will be getting the sectional top view of the cone after joining just uh, hatch it up hatch is, hatching is 45 degree and it should be equal spacing draw a line and draw a line for 45 degree keep that line as reference see you can draw a line like this draw a line for 45 degree take an angle this angle is 45 degree keeping uh, keeping this line as reference try to draw all parallel lines okay so this is called hatching and this whatever we got here 1 2 3 4 this is a sectional top view and we have to we have highlight this one see you have to highlight since uh, we cut it up means remaining portion is very uh, is very important just darken it with your uh, hv pencil 
So uh, once we convince remaining portion, we uh, just uh, leave it off. So this is the what the remaining portion. You have to darken this part so that it should be highlighted. And once you cut means from top view, when you see the cut portion will be seen like this only. So this is the section on top view. And after that you can rub it off. Okay. After that you just rub it off. Now what we will do? We are going to draw a parallel line and try to get the true shape of the section. Now next step is. See, this is the cutting plane means you have to draw a, another uh, new reference plane parallel to the cutting plane. See, this is the cutting plane means you have to draw another cutting plane parallel to the cutting plane and named as X1, Y1. Next, what you need to do? Take your compass from this reference line, from the old reference line, measure till 1. Okay, from measure till 1. From here to 1, how much distance? The same distance you have to cut and out. So before that I forgot to tell one thing, after drawing the cutting plane, you are trying to draw all the uh, perpendicular lines, see blue color line, from this cutting point you have to draw perpendicular 90 degree line, from 2 dash you draw a line, from 3 dash you draw a perpendicular line, from 4 dash you draw a perpendicular line, so you have to draw all the lines, see only cutting points only you have to consider, 1 dash, 2 dash, 7 dash, 3 dash, 6 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, then what you will do, measure from reference line to 1 for frame, you have to cut and up, measure from reference line to 7, Keep your compass here and cut and up. Measure your distance from reference line to 2. From here, you cut second up. Measure your uh, refer from reference line till 6. Just measure it up and keep the third line. If, the, if you want to cut 3 and 6, you have to keep in this line. You have to keep here and cut for 6th hour. From this reference line to 3, how much distance? From here, you cut another up. From reference line till 5, how much distance? Here, cut and up. From reference line to 4, how much distance? For the same distance, you have to cut and up. Okay. So 5, I think so, five. this one is 4, not 5. Four. Okay, uh, next what you're going to do, you just connect all the points so that you can get the uh, true shape of the section. Just connect all the points and uh, you will be getting true shape of the section and you have to hatch it up. Hatching how you have to do, you just put your line. And for the line, you just draw a line, uh, 45 degree line, and keeping these lines as reference, you draw parallel lines. And later on, you can rub it off. Okay, later on, you just rub it off. So, this is the way you need to draw. And dimensioning, you need to dimension this one. Height the axis is 60. These are the extension line. Extension line should be in 2H pencil, and dimensioning line should be in H, uh, uh, H pencil. Number and uh, alphabet should be in HP pencil. And uh, here also number and phi and all should be in HP pencil, hatching and all should be in HP pencil, numerical and alphabet should be in HP pencil. So you have to darken here this one, this part is HP pencil, height of the text section, uh, title is section of cone, height of the text is 10 mm and bottom most corner you have to write uh, all dimensions are in mm, scale 1 is to 1. So I think so scale 1 is to 1 only visible for you. You see here. So bottom most portion you have to write all dimensions are in mm and scale 1 is to 1. The height of the text is 5 mm. So this is the way you need to write it up. The next thing is try to uh, draw all the diagram very neatly and try to present your uh, solution. So that you will be fetching full 20 marks. Here you used to use, you need to use a pro circle and write the question number. And you have to put the border from left 20 mm, top 10 mm and right side 10 mm, bottom 10 mm. This is the border. Border should be in HP pencil. So I hope so this uh, diagram and explanation will be clear. In case if you have any doubt means you can type in the comment section. If you want me to take a particular problem in a particular topic also you can type in the comment section so that we will try to upload whatever thing you are asking and do subscribe our channel stay tuned with the channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics videos to your doorstep so kindly share the video to all first year students it will be very much helpful during their preparation thanks for watching this video have a great day